Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about how Amazon.com and microservices are related or any e-commerce website and microservices are related. Let's see a few details. Friends, the disclaimer is the content that I'm presenting here is my own opinion and I would like to share my knowledge to all my viewers and subscribers. Before going further, I would like to explain what exactly monolithic and microservice architecture. When I say monolithic architecture, it's a software product that was built on a single system. Usually it has a single code base. For example, if the system goes down, the customer cannot use the product at all. There will be a downtime and it is little complex to manage this product. Whereas if you see the microservice architecture, it's a software product that was built using multiple small modules. These modules are independent. They are owned by a small team and they have their own code base. Whereas here they have their single code base, but here each module have their own code base. They are independent and they have their own CI CD setup. And for example, for this product, if one of the system goes down, still the customer can use the product. He can continue using the product and they have their own data source as well. These are the basic difference between monolithic and microservice architecture. Now coming to the point how Amazon.com and microservice are related or any e-commerce website and microservice are related. If you look at this page, it looks like a single page and it was supported by a single system. But that's not true. Behind the scene, this product will be supported by huge number of microservices. For example, this search feature will be supported by a microservice. The card system will be supported by another microservice. The order and tracking system will be supported by another microservice. The authentication will be supported by another microservice. And the product catalog will be supported by another microservice. The checkout and the payment will be supported by another microservice. For this e-commerce website, it's not a single system that's supporting, but a huge number of microservices are running to support this product. In my experience, what I've seen is there were around 300 to 400 microservices running behind the scene to support such e-commerce product. So please remember when you browse such websites, think that there are huge number of microservices running behind the scene. If you look at this diagram, the product has been segmented. So there are different types of segments in the product. A search, product catalog, recommendation engine, filter and other segments. As I said, each segment will be supported by different type of microservices. For example, the search will be supported by this microservice and they might be using Elasticsearch. Whereas the product catalog will be supported by a different microservice and they might be using Oracle database. So they are completely independent and the load will also differ. For example, the search segment, there will be more load. So what does it mean? We have to have more instance of microservices to handle such big load. 20 binaries will be running to handle this load. Maybe product catalog will have less load. So we might be running only two instances of this microservice. As I said earlier, if any part of the segment fails, still the customer can come to the website and start using the product. Some of the benefits are each microservices can be handled by a small team and then they have their own code base. They have they can take their own decision and they can use the particular programming language database and they can release their own segment on their own schedule. They can also have their own DevOps monitoring system. Hi friends, so far I explained basic information about e-commerce product and microservices, how they're related. I'm aware that it's a huge product. It's a really huge topic. There is so many things to talk about, but I've given only the basic information so far. I would say, please continue reading more about this topic. If there is any questions, please post your comments. Thank you so much for your support and all the best for your career. Thank you. Bye.